For better or worse, it's going to be a hot summer here in New Mexico. Yeah, and you're going to want to make sure you have plenty of sunscreen, but also do not forget that bug spray. And that's because you might have noticed there are more and more mosquitoes mm -hmm. all over the metro, and they're a little bit more aggressive than you might remember. City officials say it's unfortunately something that we're just going to have to get used to, like we do every single summer, but that doesn't mean they're giving up the fight. Griffin Rushton gives us an inside look at their battle against those pesky little bugs. Battling one mosquito ah. is hard enough. Battling millions across the metro, well, that's a job for Albuquerque's Environmental Health Department. It has constantly been changing over the course of about the last six years or so. Nick Peterson is the city's urban biology manager and can confirm there are more mosquitoes in Albuquerque than you might think. It started off pretty significant, not quite as bad as last year, but right now the models certainly suggest that we're just going to see a general uh, increase in the types of species that are in Albuquerque. And Peterson's team is tracking that increase with mosquito traps like these. On average, we're probably going to catch somewhere around 100 mosquitoes per trap. So they go back to our lab, they are sorted, identified, counted, and then depending on what type of species we're catching, sometimes tested uh, for things like West Nile virus. And that's becoming a critical job. There were 80 confirmed West Nile cases across New Mexico last year, according to Department of Health data, roughly eight times higher than the year before and the biggest surge since 2004. We don't fully understand why that happened, why it came back like that in those numbers. Um, but the, the mosquito landscape is constantly shifting. And Peterson's team is hustling to keep up. These four-wheelers spray bacteria-based pesticides in problem areas, usually closer to the Rio Grande, ideally killing larvae before they become mosquitoes. Depending on what the situation is, what we're dealing with, if we're worried about disease, extreme nuisance, we are able to do um, what I would consider adult treatments, and that's the spray from the back of the truck. For decades, those mosquito treatments were only really needed in parks and neighborhoods near the Bosque. But Peterson says new species are invading new parts of the metro, and that requires a new plan of attack. Especially with Aedes aegypti, we're having to uh, bring in new equipment and try different products and try things in different ways. Peterson says those more aggressive mosquitoes arrived in Albuquerque back in 2018 and rapidly spread through neighborhoods far from the Bosque. They're in areas of town where people don't expect there to be mosquitoes. That's because they can breed in standing water left after rainstorms and they prefer humans. The Aegypti also carry more dangerous diseases like Zika virus and dengue fever, and they're not easy to get rid of. Now we're talking about a species that lives around people's homes, in people's backyards. It's extremely hard for a, a mosquito control program to really do any treatment. Homeowners are strongly encouraged to pitch in and get rid of any standing water. But Peterson says it's also time the city hires a full-time mosquito technician. Or maybe they are doing door-to-door -door yard audit type inspections where they're actually going in and helping people kind of see what they need to do on their property to to come up with mosquito solutions. But for now, he says it's a good idea to keep the bug spray handy. I don't think that we should, you know, be in a state of alarm or emergency over the potential for, for diseases. But I, I think them being present in the community is, is going to be the new normal, unfortunately. In Albuquerque, Griffin Rushton. KOB4.